So some things that I'd like to discuss today is that when it comes to purchasing a container, there's three options. There's the one tripper, which is brand new. They're made in China. There's one shipment put into the container and then it's shipped over and then once it's unloaded it's directly sent to us as far as cosmetics they're painted the floors are clean they're a little bit more expensive but it's worth it in the long run these containers are going to last 20 years the grade just below that when purchasing a container from us is what we call refurbished so it's a used container that we've gone through we've we've checked the the doors the seals any, any, any problems whatsoever, it's repainted, it's welded, whatever it needs, it's ready to go. They're not perfect, but the floors are good, the, the container's presentable, it's gonna do its job, and it's got a paint job, and everything has been gone through. Then the one grade below that is what we call the wind and water type. You know, when it comes to making a decision on container sizes, we offer 20s and 40 foot containers. Those are the standard sizes. This is a 40 foot high cube one trip. This is a very popular container. Uh, this, is, this is the best option in my opinion. I mean, the inside of these things are like dance floors. They're straight, they're clean, there's no dents, there's no rust. They're ready to rock and roll. When it comes to modifications, this is the container that I highly recommend when you're doing doors, windows, or finishing a container out for auxiliary spaces. They are a little bit more expensive, but worth it in the long run. This is a refurbished 40 foot high cube container. This is option two with us. The, the floors are generally in decent condition. There is gonna be some basic scratches here and there. It is lightly used. You're gonna have small dings through, in throughout the container, but it's, it's, it's worlds above a wind and water type. It's been totally gone through, refurbished, painted inside and out. Uh, it's not quite one tripper quality, perfect condition, but it's right in the middle. It's a great middle of the road option. So I'm standing next to option three, which is a wind and water tight container. Um, there's no choice on color, uh, dents, dings, rust, it is what it is. So if you do decide to go with option three, wind and water tight, just know that it's gonna have dents, it's gonna have dings, it's, it's, uh, the floors are gonna be scratched up, but it is still a good functional container. It's just cosmetically, it's not even comparable to a refurbished or a one tripper. So a few things you need to know when buying a wind and water tight container is that it's off the stack. So the one thing that is guaranteed is that it is wind and water tight. It's not gonna leak. But other than that, cosmetics, color, patches, rust, and dents, it's a crapshoot. It's off the stack, and that's why they're priced the way they are. Um, so they're like this one, for example, it's got a, it's the floor's functional, but it's got patches and scrapes. There's dents and dings and rust and patches. So uh, that's just something that comes along with the territory when purchasing a wind and water tight container. When it comes to modifying containers, my recommendation is always modify a one tripper. If you're gonna do doors, windows, vents, auxiliary units, tack rooms, whatever it is, one trippers are the way to go. Secondly is the refurbished. Then the third option is the wind and water tight. So that is an option, but we do not do any modifications to wind and water tights. We only modify refurbished and one trip containers. So when it comes to making your decision, I hope this helps. My name is Garrett with Container Stop.